Hey everyone, and welcome back to the galaxy. Today we will learn how to create this awesome pop art effect in GIMP. Often, this effect looks best with photos that are positioned shoulders and up. To start, we want to make sure our photo is desaturated. Mine already is. But if you are using a color photo, go up to Colors, Saturation, and turn the slider bar all the way down. Now we need to remove the background, but this doesn't need to be exact. I will use the pen tool to trace around the subject. After I've closed my path, I will select Enter on my keyboard to make a selection from it. Next, right click on the image layer and select Add Layer Mask. I'm going to choose the Selection Mode and make sure Invert Mask is deselected. And I will click Add. Then we can go up to Select, None, and also select another tool to get rid of these pen points. Once you've created a layer mask, make sure to then reselect the image layer from the mask. Now we are going to create a halftone pattern on this image. Go up to Filters, Distorts, down to Newsprint. And I'll just zoom in a little here so we can see. First, you want to change the pattern type to Circle. Then, adjust the period slider until the dots start to resemble a comic book effect. You don't want them too small or too big. You can also change the angle of this effect with the angle slider. Once you're happy with the effect, click OK. Next, create a new layer and place it beneath your photo layer. Choose what color you want the background to be and select it in the foreground color picker. Then select the bucket tool and apply this color to the new layer. Then reselect your photo layer and change its blending mode to multiply. Then create another new layer and place it between the background and image layer. We will paint the extra color pops on this layer. Be sure that the middle layer is active by selecting it and then select the Brush tool and turn the hardness up to 100. You can also adjust the size of the brush depending on what part of the image you will be painting. I will then choose the color I want her skin to be. And I will paint this within the lines on the middle layer. It doesn't have to be perfect, which will really help recreate the appearance of the pop art effect. I will use the same process to fill in her eyes, lips, jewelry, and maybe some extra pops with eyeshadow. Just have fun and choose whatever colors you like. And I will still be painting these on the middle layer. And you have just created this awesome pop art effect. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, consider subscribing for more awesome content. Let us know if you found this tutorial helpful by liking this video and leaving us a comment. Thanks for watching.